I was running in the Southern Kettle Moraine portion of the Ice Age Trail. It runs for roughly 32 to 33 miles. The total elevation change over the 32 miles is somewhere in the 3,000 to 3,500 feet, which is, I mean, compared to any of the mountain states is nothing really drastic, but around here, 100 feet per mile is actually decent. And the fact that it was not spread out evenly definitely was a bit of a challenge. The first couple of forest sections were more up and down. There was actually some really steep spots out there, and when you get slippery footing underneath in the form of leaves and or logs, stairs, some places. That was challenging for sure. And then there would be long segments where there was no elevation change at all. So it was kind of packed into little punches. This segment of this trail, the record I believe is four hours and nine minutes, which would average out to what, eight miles an hour. I don't think I've ever run eight miles in an hour, <laughs> maybe in my life. I probably could if I was just trying to do that but that's the type of thing where someone's put up a pretty decent time on it and I don't really see myself challenging for that. So instead, I wanted to use it as a chance to go out and see this trail because it sounded like a cool place and to see where I'm at currently. When I'm looking towards these bigger full day or multi-day efforts, I, I need to know what kind of pace I can sustain over the course of eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, and then how my body will react the next day if I'll be able to do that again and again and again, day after day. What I was really trying to see if I could go four miles an hour for eight hours and just keep that pace and not be gassed, not be dying. I'd say there was moderate success in that regard probably largely due to the fact that I haven't been building my fitness to the point I would, would like it to be right now. I didn't finish in eight hours, I didn't even finish because the darkness crept in earlier than I anticipated and the run took a little longer than I anticipated. So I made it, I don't even know what the totals were, but it was about 28 miles and that was in eight hours and change, eight and a half maybe. And I didn't realize that that was about when we were gonna run out of daylight. I think if it wouldn't have been overcast, maybe we would have had some more. But at that point it was, I could slog four more miles to finish this out, but that's not really gonna prove anything. That's not gonna satisfy me. I got what I wanted out of the day and it would have been borderline dangerous to continue with how dark it was through those forests and I didn't have any light. I wasn't prepared to do this in the dark. So we called it there. So I would say I felt good going in and I would say that for the first 10 miles, I felt quite good. I was doing a kind of a mix of jogging, hiking most of the uphills for sure. Just kind of trying to get some speed going in areas where it was sure-footed and safe to do so and then kind of slow down just to not overdo it in the other areas. And I've done enough of these things, both FKT routes and just kind of backpacking trips, stuff like that, that I've become comfortable with quitting when it's just not your day. And yesterday wasn't quite my day, and that's to be expected with how much or how little training I may have been doing lately. So there's nothing to be disappointed in, really. I just kind of know what I need to do and have to do it better if I want to perform better when it comes down to it.